Today we are going to see what is component based development, how are the pages rendered in Sitecore, what is adaptive design, what is responsive design and what are presentation details. Welcome to my channel, my Sitecore Diaries. I am Jitendra Ghanekar, I am a Sitecore architect from Mumbai. Please subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icons to get latest update. So today's uh, topic which we are current, uh, we are going to have is component based development and presentation details part 1. Let's see a basic website design concept. Adaptive design. What is adaptive design? Different fixed layout are created that adapt to the user screen size. So you have a laptop, desktop, mobile three are different devices okay three will have all three has a different screen sizes so your website you, you will create a fixed layout okay depending on the screen size for all those things so there will be a three different html which will get created for the uh, laptop desktop and mobile so that is called as a adaptive design okay uh, in that design you will have a look and feel different but the content will be same Sidecore by default support the adaptive design. Okay, so it allows you to configure different layout as per device. Okay, so you can uh, give a different layout for laptop, desktop, or mobile. Okay, but only one layout per device. Another one is a responsive design. Okay, so what is a responsive design? You have a single layout which is adapt to the user screen size. In this case, what will happen is you will create only one HTML which will be uh, which will change uh, as per the screen size okay so that is called as a responsive design so we, we, we generally use the bootstrap for, as a responsive framework to uh, have a responsive design so in adaptive design we have a multiple html designs whereas you are in responsive design you have a single html okay then layout Layout are nothing but a scaffolding of your web pages. So complete scaffolding is called as a layout. Device in Sitecore, device also an item which is identified by browser agent, query string, and if you add any own rule. So depending on that, it de defines the dev device. And what is the layout uh, device layout? So as per your device, what is the layout? Okay, so Sitecore represent a specific way to present a view contain on the defined defined device so how you want to de display your content on the different different device that is called as a device layout component based development a component based development is a process built on dividing a user interface into a collection of a reusable parts that then are used to create a result page so what does it mean is you have you do not develop the page like you have a home page or contact us page so you do not in component based development you do not develop the pages what you develop is these components and components are nothing but a reusable parts so in the home page you have a header header is a component footer is a component so you will develop the header footer and then you assemble it into a page so that is called as a component based or development so inside core when you try to design it it will be a uh, when you try to develop any page it is a component space development so first thing which you will decide is what is your design is it as adaptive design or a responsive design if you have adaptive design then you have to identify what are the uh, what are the devices okay so you have to build the devices also you have to define the devices also and if or you have to use the responsive then you have to go for a bootstrap okay Assume that this is the page which we want to develop. Okay, so how will you do the component based development? First thing is identify the components or the renderings on the pages. Okay, so what are the rendering which is there on the uh, this page? Okay, then identify what is the static component, what is the dynamic component. So what do you mean by static component? Content which will be have it will have a static content. Dynamic where the content will change like copyrights which you see is a static one so it is not going to change it but it might be the case your banner might change later okay so that is called as a uh, 
dynamic component so you one pages you can have a different banner another page you can have a different banner so that is what a dynamic component okay so if you take this uh, page a, 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 if you identify header is one of the component then you have a title hero banner feature details feature cta footer etc are the uh, components okay then identify the layout of the page okay so if you see this page you will have two columns here okay in the, the the components are placed in the two column whereas you have one two three four and five five rows in here so the, the, the layout structure will be two columns into five rows then the placeholder then you identify where you will place the placeholder so placeholder is basically where you will replace the component like the hero banner is there so you will have a placeholder and then it will get replaced so in the site call it is uniquely identified by the key field the placeholder we will going to have a separate uh, video also okay, so this is what the component based development presentation details Presentation details are configuration that determines the appearance of an item when it is requested by the browser. Presentation details are mapped to a physical file on the system like Xbox page or Access page. So presentation details is basically uh, how your item is uh, should, should get displayed or how it should appear to the uh, to on the browser. That is what a presentation details. Is. So it is it is a it is the uh, configuration which which determines how the content is going to display to the user on the browser okay so uh, if you if you compare static html and the site core you consider an url like this url www.example.com site code diaries dot html what happens with this okay it is mapped to the html in the website folder so whatever the url you see sitecode.diaries.html it has a corresponding html in the website root okay which has the uh, code or uh, html which which this which which decides the appearance of that url okay what is out okay that output that html will give you this page okay so this is how the static html works now how does the site code works okay site code whatever url which you are considering again we consider the same it actually points to the item in the container okay so what i mean is in this site code diaries what how it did get resolved is site code diaries will be an item so this is the item here in the container okay this contains the content okay now that how that container should be displayed like this it's the configuration and that configuration is nothing but the presentation details okay so how the item should be displayed that is defined by the presentation details which contains the layout and the renderings and obviously a placeholder because placeholder decide which component will be rendered so this is what the presentation details presentation details are the uh, are the configuration which which determine the appearance of an item how does a uh, page get resolved in site core so as we see now that site core is mapped to the uh, whatever url you are having that is mapped to the uh, item in the content okay so how does we get the data okay so how resolving the page so on from the browser you send and request to the is okay so you say www.example.com slash home page okay so that url you are requesting to the is what does IIS does? IIS maps finds that um, uh, URL, right? The home page. So you must be having some home item in the site code. So site code it gets to the passes request to the site code. Okay. In in site code, there's a concept of pipeline. So like we have in the SP.NET page life cycle. Similarly, we have a pipeline here. Okay. In this HTTP request begin pipeline. It maps request to the content item. So www.example.com slash home dot home slash home. So it will map for that home uh, item in the site code. Okay, and that happens in the HTTP begin request pipeline. Then it calls another pipeline to render layout pipeline. Okay, what it does, it find out the presentation details on that home page. Okay, that item. Okay, you got the home page. So what are the presentation? What are what? 
uh, details on that pages that is the found in the render layout pipeline okay so that will combine that will assemble your html complete html and then that html given back as a response to the browser and you can see the uh, page so that is how uh, the uh, pages get resolved what are sidecore pipeline sidecore pipeline are nothing but a series of action is executed in a sequence to achieve the specific objective okay so actions which are getting executed are called processes and class which execute this process are called processor so there are number of process processes which get executed in sidecore pipeline like you have i, I told you http request begin pipeline so there are number of pipelines so in fact you, we will have another uh, maybe another video where we will have a we will see a few of those pipelines okay so pipelines are very important in sidecore okay so uh, for just for this uh, video purpose just understand that there are some action which get executed and one of them action is happy is the http request begin pipeline in that pipeline it, it uh, maps request to the content item so another one is the render layout pipeline where it assembles the presentation details if you have any question you can email me on my email address this is my email address uh, you can contact to me on linkedin this is my linkedin uh, ID. If you like my video, please like on it. Please uh, share my video. Uh, please provide your feedback by provide giving the comments. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, the if you subscribe, it will motivate me to do more of such videos. Just click on bell icons to get the notifications. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.